everyone knows the more sweets you eat, the quicker your teeth rot. <laughs> Henry. No, because it always gets stuck in my teeth. So I reckon a tooth could get stuck in it. Ah, oh, clever. Well, is it working? I can't open my mouth. Help me! What? Oh, help you. Of course. Ah. Aha! Bert, I won't lie to you. That's my toffee. I threw it at you, and I deserve a punch in the mouth. Don't I? I don't know. Well, think about it. Don't you think chucking confectionery at you shows a certain lack of respect? I don't know. Take my word for it, it does. And if you were to punch me in the mouth and knock my tooth out, I wouldn't even mind, I swear! I don't know. <gasps> ah! Did that work? No. Brilliant save, though. One tooth! That's all I need! Operation Molar is a go! to happen to my little brother, do I? Hmm, I see. Well, now you'd better get back to your room and back to sleep. Good idea! <laughs> Tooth Fairy, prepare to open your wallet. would know who's just lost a tooth. How? From the gap between their teeth. The gap! Yes, the gap! Gotta go! <laughs> Henry! What a stupid place to sit. <sighs> Henry, if you want to see me, use the front door so I don't have to answer it. This is an emergency. I need your teeth. Huh? Your rubber Dracula teeth from your Halloween costume. Now would be good. Oh, I see. And what are you offering in return? Offering? Do you want any orange? Do I want any orange what? Do you want any orange, m'lady? Yes, thank you, Henry. That would be splendid. And could I have a slice of lemon in it? A slice of lemon? Do you want those teeth or not? <gasps> it's so easy being me. I'm This 
goes here and here. Okay, where's my mutant cyborg spiders? I can't get up without them. For the last time, Henry, time to get ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Wait a minute. Where's Mr. Kill? Where's Mr. Kill? Who stole Mr. Kill? Torch, scissors, notepad and pen? Check. Boot polish, lucky rotten duck egg, and fake dog poo. Check. I'm going to get you back, Mr. Kill. And then I'll get whoever took you. <laughs> Detective Henry always gets his man. This smells like an inside job. Dodgy Dad. But why? Henry! 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 Yeah, Dad. You can run, but you can't hide. 4.35 p.m. Suspect cooking healthy food in kitchen. <gasps> no! Don't cook Mr. Kill! Uh, what? You took Mr. Kill while I was at school! Now you want us to eat him! Don't be horrid, Henry. Look, it's a chicken. Oh. And I was at work when you were at school. Oh. Suspect has alibi. Maybe Mr. Kill left home. You're always throwing him around and stamping on him. Mr. Kill would never leave me! Well then, look in your fort. Maybe you left him there. No! I didn't leave him. He was stolen. Mr. Kill, where are you? I'm in charge because it's my garden. Oh, then you're always in charge in my garden too. Well, somebody has to be in charge around here. Oh, yeah. Now there's someone who has a motive. Moody Margaret. She's always wanted to get me back. Is she going to be all right? She'll pull through. What are you doing to my dolly? You'll pay for this, Henry! Revenge and ransom. Two perfect motives. Moody Margaret kidnapped Mr. Kill. Well, what's wrong with being second in command? It's not first in command, is it? Ah, oh, yes, but it's better than being third in command, believe me. Oh, no! They're burying Mr Kill! Oh, we could both be first in command. That's a stupid idea. Oh, that's it. I'm going home. Well, that's why you'll never be in command. They'll pay for this, Mr Kill. So easy being me, I'm Horrid Henry! Phew. 
Number 42. Yes! Mission accomplished. Boys, you'll have to keep an eye on each other. Your father and I are helping with the games. Huh? Oh, what shall we do first? Get lost, worm. I have to buy my ticket before anyone else gets my number. I'll just keep an eye on myself then. Where's the pirate prize booth? Other side of this tent, I think. Want a bite? Yeah, thanks. Oi, come back! Bert, huh? stop him! to be the next to play. Ah, oh, Henry, you're an eager volunteer. No, I can't. I, I have to get to. Don't be shy now. Just do your best. Oh, come back, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Sorry, Miss Ombud. Uh, gotta go. Hello? Hello? I want to buy a ticket. Hello? We're not open yet, Henry. Come back later. There he is. Get him. Gotta go. Huh? Who's next? Sit properly there. Whee! <laughs> Tickets can now be purchased for the pirate prize competition. Take a chance, win a prize. Gangway, coming through. Wow! Oh no! One of them is bound to choose number 42 before I can! Okay, calm down. Think. What would Rapper Zappa do? This is where ordinary mortals would give up. But I will fight my enemies one by one and I will triumph! <laughs> okay, who's first? Rude Ralph. Easy. I'm gonna mash you to pieces! Calm down, I'll make it up to you. I'll tell you what the winning number is. Really? Sure, and I'll tell you for only 50p. Deal! It's number 95. <laughs> Hi, Andrew. Uh, you do know that the first prize is a bungee jump, don't you? What? And the second prize is two bungee jumps. <laughs> Try and butt in. Don't need to. I know the winning number. Wanna buy it? Uh, which number is going to win? Number 42. It is. Honestly, number 42 is the winner. You owe me 50p. You really think I'm falling for that one, Henry? Ugh, I'm picking 31. Yes! Putty in my hands! Oh no! Beefy Bird jumped the queue! Ah! 42's gone! Beefy Bird's got my ticket! Bert, I'll give you 50p for that ticket. I don't know. And my new football. I don't know. OK, OK. 50p, my new football and a Killer Boy Rats poster. Uh, I don't know. Look, Henry, I bought a treasure map ticket and a raffle ticket. Go away, worm. I'm busy. Do we have a deal? Great! I'll bring your stuff to... 75? I don't want this number! Somebody's got my ticket! Peter? Peter's got my ticket! Peter! Peter, come back here! The park's just down the road. We're going for a proper hike in the countryside. The countryside? No! We could get chased by chickens. Man-eating chickens. <laughs> Can't we just go round the block? N-O spells no, Henry. Well, I'm telling you, you'll be sorry. <laughs> we should have listened to Henry. 
who'd have thought man-eating chickens would eat our darling, Henry? I'll never eat an omelette again. <laughs> Henry! In! No, I live in the city. I'm not going. Come back here. Now, do your seatbelt up and try to behave. Let's go, Henry. You can't make me. Fine. But each step I take is 5p off your pocket money until you catch up. 5p off, 10p off, 15p off, 20p off. Oh, I'm missing a rapper's up a marathon for this? <laughs> Smell as manure. Couldn't you wait, Peter? No! Henry called me smelly! Don't be horrid, Henry. Come on, Henry. Why don't you help Peter find something for his nature project? Right! Um, but that's a wasp's nest. They sting you, don't they? Uh, not if you sing to them. No one else will have one. You'll get top marks. Easy. Oh. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, tournez-vous. Sing, Peter, sing! Sonnez les matines, sonnez les matines. Peter, come away from that wasp's nest. It's all right, Dad. I'm singing to them. Henry said they won't sting. Sonnez les matines. Peter, stop. Of course they'll sting. Come down now. How could you be so horrid, Henry? Well, Dad said to help him find something for his nature project, so I did. Something safe! Oh, well, he should have been more specific. Oh. Come on, Henry! You breaker! That's it! The sooner we get to the stupid lake, the sooner I go home to watch Rapper Zapper! Come on! This fun! <laughs> That's the spirit, Henry. Whee! Let's find the light! Oh! 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 I knew you'd enjoy our hike. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, Dormez-vous, Dormez-vous. Oh, they've slowed down. I knew they would. Good thing I doubled back. Ding dang dong, ding dang dong. I'm missing Rapper Zappa. How am I going to get them to hurry up? All oh, right. Mum and Dad their juice. But I always take them their juice. Too late, slow goat. Oh, you haven't put something horrible in it, have you, Henry? No. Open the door. Well, I can take it in for you. No, let go! <laughs> oh, don't be horrid, Henry. Go and get something to clear up this mess. Can I come 
with you, Dad. I love going to the supermarket. Of course you can, Peter. Out, Henry! That's not fair! You're taking Peter! Why can't I come? Because I remember the last time you came shopping. I'll be good, I promise. I just want to help. Please? Cucumber, tomatoes, salad. Dad said I could push the trolley. You did it last time. Dad! Henry's being mean! Don't be horrid, Henry. It's OK. Peter can push. I don't care what... What did you say? Peter can push the trolley. I don't mind. Are you feeling OK, Henry? Fine, thank you. Um, well... Well done. Well done, then. Being good is really hard work. Hmm. I don't know. How about leek and broccoli? Um, yes, but Mum likes spicy parsnip. Fine. Henry... We need baked beans. I know where they are, Dad. It's OK. I'm on to it. <gasps> this has possibilities. <gasps> Henry, don't. Oops, nearly forgot. Henry? What are you doing? Get down from there. It's OK, Dad. I've got it. Whoa! Oh, I've got the baked beans, Dad. Lunchtime. Peter, can you... Lay the table? Yes, please. Why can't I do it? Well, I want to lay the table. All right, Henry, but don't break anything. Hi, all. Please lay the table. Let go! You let go. OK, have it your way. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. What a good boy you are. Henry, sit up properly. I am sitting up properly. Oh, so you are. Well, don't slurp your food. I'm not slurping. I've eaten all my carrots. Good heavens. Henry, what a good boy. Oh, I've eaten all my carrots too. Mm. Ow! Peter kicked me! Peter? you're doing. You're only being good so you can go to the fair, but it won't work, so there. Oh, no? No, because sooner or later you'll do something horrid. You always do, smelly. I forgive you. Mum, can I do some gardening? You? Why? To be helpful, of course. Well, um, there is one job needs doing. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. Need more pocket money. <gasps> oh, 50p a week is quite enough, Henry. I'm very happy with my pocket money. I always save loads. You could learn a lot from Peter, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Enough, Henry! No pocket money for a week. What? No! I need a new castle! You'll have to save up then, won't you? But, but how can I save money if you're not giving me any? You could earn it. <laughs> earn it? Oh, get off, Henry! Broken. Uh, 
first. A chess set? What were they thinking? I need more things! Hmm, you look lonely. Come with Henry. Oh, smells like a baby's bum! Uh, I don't know. How much have you made so far? 37p. You're wasting the smell. Hitting a sign, Henry. Nothing gets past you, does it, Al? All money raised goes to a very good cause. Child in need. When I'm king, I'll have a pair of rooter toots for every day of the year. Henry, that's Mum's special perfume. Oh, she's got loads of bottles. She'll never miss one. That's ten pounds. Hmm, I'll give you one. Done. That's Dad's tennis racket. Oh, stop moaning! You Eureka! That's it! Would you like to earn some money, Peter? How? I'll give you ten P. Is that all? All right. Ten P a day. That'll be twenty P for the weekend. I suppose it would help my savings plan. All right, I'll do it. Great! Why do I only get 20p if Ralph gave you £1.50? Uh, expenses. Now run along. Amazing! After I've paid Peter, I'll have £2.67. I'm on to something here. Welcome to King Henry's, the largest chain of superstores in the world. Home. Henry, have you seen my big bottle of perfume? No. Uh, I mean, what, what bottle of perfume? I thought she'd never notice. And where's Peter? He's not in his room. I gave it to Ralph. Well, you go round to Ralph's right now and get him back, you horrid boy. But I don't want him back. Henry, go and get your brother back right now. When I'm king, parents won't be allowed to have any pocket money. Henry. Mum says I've got to get Peter back. Uh, no. Yeah. Huh? With Margaret. Margaret's house? Oh, no. When I'm king, Yet. Sorry, Margaret. <sighs> well, we don't want them now. You've tossed them all around the countryside. Go and get some drinks. And don't spill a drop or I'll make you wish you'd never been born. <sighs> yeah, never been born. Henry, have you come to rescue me? Uh, no, can't. Please, I'll do anything. You can keep the 20p. I'll pay you 50. A pound. She's horrible. Nearly as bad as you. <laughs> Come back. I'll give you all my money. All right. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, Henry. Where's my drink? It's so easy. are never fun. Yeah, they're never fun. <laughs> I never have a nice time. So thanks, but we're not coming. But that means no presents. Wait, this year's going to be different. There'll be a brilliant tea. Sounds good. And, and the, the prizes will be fantastic. Game prizes, I'm in. 
and me if it's not too scary. This will be the best party you've ever been to! Oh, all right, I'll come just to see this brilliant party of yours. Yeah, me too. And me! And me! Come on! Come on! Come on. Come on. painstakingly burrow their way down through the soil to build their nest. Henry! Henry's best party ever! Item one, food. Crisps, burgers and loads of chips. Mmm, carrot sticks. Mmm, yummy. Peanut butter sandwiches and plenty of apple juice. Item two, the trip to Laser Zap. We'll go in a fleet of stretch limos. No, no limos, much too expensive. One bus is much greener than lots of limos. Don't know why you're bothered. You're not coming. Henry, Peter's your brother. Of course he's coming. But he'll ruin everything! Ah! Don't be horrid, Henry. No Peter, no party. All right, but you'd better keep out of my way, worm. Yes? <laughs> the birthday boy's name is Henry. <laughs> Henry, when you went to Laser Zap for Ralph's birthday party, did you break all the lasers? No. And put slime in everybody's spacesuits? No. What about the goo in the moon boots? Oh, yeah, that was great. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't me. Well, Laser Zap have banned you. That means the party will have to be here. No! I want to go to Laser Zap! Don't worry, I know lots of good games. His mum's going to drop him off when he's finished. You'll have to start without him. OK. Go! This is from... I know! It's a pack of felt pens. Do you like it, Henry? Mm, I've already got some. Henry, what do you say? Thank you very much. Next! It's a tapestry kit. I chose it myself. Why? Oh, oh, I'll have it if you don't want it, Henry. Brilliant! You've got some animal soap, a CD of fairy tales. Oh, wow! Cook your own healthy, nutritious food! Fantastic! It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Wow! 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 Right. Stay here. I'm going to buy the tickets. There's going to be lots of water, isn't there? Duh! Of course there is! This is an aquarium! Ooh! I hope I don't get seasick! Ahoy, me hearties! Captain Push Me Button at your service! And if you be wanting a sniff of me buried treasure, then push me button! Yar! Buried treasure? Cool! Hi, shipmates! Answer me questions and win a prize! A prize? Even cooler! Push me button! Don't even think about it! I'm gonna win! No, you're not! I am! Not! Am! Not! Push me button! <laughs> am! 
saucy scallywags. Walk the plank. Shiver me timbers. A troublemaker, eh? I'm used to dealing with people like you. Don't you touch anything. I'll be watching you. First one back here wins the very treasure. That'll be me then. Oh, come on, you rotten robot. I want my piece of paper. Hey, you! I told you to leave that robot alone! Avarst, Avarst, all hands abandon ship! Ah! I'll get you! I'll get you! Thank you! Oh, uh. Backstop! Right, um. Ah, Peter, let's just go and get a drink and then we can go in. We're doing a quiz! Ooh, that sounds fun. What's the first question? What's your name? <laughs> Well, Henry should be able to answer that one. <laughs> question two. Oh, everyone knows that. What sort of silly questions are these? Cool, an octopus. Question two. How many tentacles does an octopus have? No idea. Hey, octopus, show us your tenty... tenty... arms. Well, better try question three. Look, Dad, it's all inky. That means the octopus must be really scared. Hmm, I wonder why. I saw a programme on TV called The Octopus Whisperer. Maybe we can speak to it. Ooh, Mr Octopus, can you hear me? Look, Dad, it works! Goodbye, Mr. Octopus. What are you looking at? <clears throat> oh, everyone knows that an octopus has got eight tentacles. <laughs> Is anyone there? Oh, I didn't know fish could bark. <laughs> Ugh, that's a really ugly fish. Ah, there you are, you horrible little... Ah, time to hide again. Come here. talking in my head. Hmm, so can I. It must be catching. Uh, get me out of here! It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. Henry? Steve! That's a very nice second-hand jumper you're wearing. At least it's not green like yours. This isn't green. Mom! He's got a goo shooter! Give me that! While you're a guest in my house, you will behave yourself! I won't put up with any mischief! Ow! Get it off! Get it off! I don't know how that got in there. Sorry, Aunt Ruby. Show him to his room. I've put all my toys in my room, and you're not allowed to touch them. You're up here in the attic. <laughs> I 
that you're scared of the dark? Course not! Good, because this room is haunted. <laughs> It'll take more than a silly ghost to scare me. I love ghosts! Ah! You see that stain? That's where the ghost vaporized. <laughs> Of course, if you're too scared to sleep here. Maybe the ghost will let me play with his toys. You better hope so, because up here, no one will hear you scream. <laughs> I'm Henry. Am I scared? It was a night like this when the ghost first appeared. Uh, you mean this really is a haunted house? Oh, don't be silly, Steve. That's just a story. We've never seen the ghost ourselves. Ah! Oh, dear. Not another power cut. Spooky, eh? Go on, Mum. Tell him the story. Legend has it that the house was built by a rich old man to hoard his gold. He had dozens of servants waiting on him hand and foot. But he was scared they would steal his gold. So one night, he sneaked out and buried it in the wood. He built secret passages in the house so the servants wouldn't see him creeping out at night to check on his gold. But one night, it was so dark, he couldn't see where he was going. And he stumbled into the well and drowned. It's his ghost that wanders the house, searching for his gold. Ah! Huh? Yeah, well, serves him right. With all that money, he should have bought a torch. <sighs> That's enough silly stories. It's time you boys went to bed. Everybody knows there's no such thing as ghosts. There's something in the wardrobe, just waiting to get me. Don't be a scaredy cat, Henry. You're not afraid of anything, except injections. Where Bunny is? No. Well, uh, not exactly. Henry, if you want any pocket money ever again, then you'd better get Bunny back. Fast. Oops. Better get digging. <laughs> no! <laughs> this will take forever. Unless I can get somebody to help me. So who told you there was treasure buried here? Everyone knows that, don't they, Bert? I don't know. We're going to be rich. <laughs> I'm going to buy every chocolate bar in the world. I want my own gym. I don't know. Henry! There's something down here. I'm going to buy a yacht too. 
It's one of these time capsules. Huh? There's nothing in it. No treasure? No, nothing. Come on, let's keep digging. I bet there never was any treasure. How come these are all empty? I don't know. I'm going home. Thanks for nothing, Henry. They were all empty. I want my bunny. Where can he be? Maybe he's been kidnapped by aliens. I want Bunny back! <laughs> Henry, you have got to find Bunny or else... I've got to find out what happened to those time capsules. Eureka! That's it! Yes! I, Henry, have a plan! This is a disgrace. If any of you know anything about the identity of these hooligans, please come forward. I bet they were boys. Miss? Henry, no! Miss, we mustn't give in to these hooligans. Henry? Uh, no, quite. We should bury another capsule to show that we won't be beaten. Excellent idea, Henry. Uh, come on, children. Your game, Henry. Have a gold star. Oh, thank you. Maybe the children of the future would like it. How unusually unselfish, Henry. Well done. Right, let's get this capsule buried. Yes. Al, you're good at digging. Shh. Uh, I mean, you probably are. Now we wait. Well, yes. Oh, this is a bit embarrassing. Um, I, uh, I like to keep a souvenir of all the children who pass through my school. Did you dig up all the other boxes as well? Yes. Everything's in my attic at home. It's my way of remembering you all. Couldn't you just take a photo of us? Look, Henry, if anyone were to find out about this, it might, um, well, it might be a bit awkward. Henry, do your parents know you're out this late? It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Shouldn't you be tidying your room, Henry? Done it! <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Can I have my star now? Is this your belt, Henry? Don't touch that! Henry. Oh, great. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, after one day, it's Perfect Peter with one star. And Horrid Henry has yet to score. So, all to play for. I can 
see a star shooting its way to you, Peter. Well, the room looks very tidy, Henry. Star? But what is that smell? <gasps> oh, oh, no. oh. Hey, I was saving that. Oh. And after day two, Henry still has no stars. But Perfect Peter has a perfect pair! What are you doing, Henry? I thought my bedroom curtains could do with a wash. Impressed, Henry. What's he doing in there? Hold it there, worm! You're trespassing! But I need the vacuum cleaner! <clears throat> this is so unfair! <laughs> <laughs> Day three, and it's three stars to Peter. And Henry's still on the starting bench. Yeah! <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little bro. Aha! We're going to eat at Gobblanco. <laughs> That's what you think. He's worried. I've got a little plan. Peter's happy hippo painting is on the other side of this wall. Now we wait. <gasps> How perfectly perfect, Peter. with four stars to Henry's zero. Henry's going to have to do something pretty special if he wants to gobble and go. <laughs> oh! Don't forget Jolly Josh is coming over to play, Henry. Oh, no! Jolly Josh! He's always playing practical jokes. He's got to wreck my room! It's so easy being me! I'm hard, Henry! Parents never understand anything important. Morning, Henry! Man, grown ups, <gasps> and with 15 seconds to go, Henry rakes across the pitch. Surely he can't score from that distance. It's crazy, it's impossible. He's done it. It's in. Henry scores the winning goal for Aston Athletic. Must get hold of some tickets. 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 Now, listen, class. We've been lucky enough to be given two tickets for the Ashton Athletic Manchester United match. Me! 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 Quiet. I have decided that the class will play a football match at lunchtime. Margaret and Al will be captains, and the player of the match will get the tickets. But who decides who's player of the match? Me, Henry. And my decision is final. Henry! 
Henry. I'm not going to let you score just so that you can be player of the match. Why not? You're Moody Margaret's goalkeeper. It'll be easy. Yeah, but how can I be player of the match if I let you score? Don't be stupid. We all know who the best player is going to be. Have you decided who you're going to take with you, Margaret? Nope. I'll decide later. See? We haven't got a chance. But if I let you score, it'll be cheating. Come along, children. Take your positions. Just remember rule number seven of the Purple Hand Gang. Members must always obey the Lord High Excellent Majesty. That's me. But... And if I do win, I'll obviously return the favour. You mean you'll take me? You see, Ralph, it's not so hard, is it? Right, children. Everyone ready? Graceful. Football is supposed to be a team sport, not a pack of hooligans with no respect for the rules. Oh, let's try again, shall we? Oh, Henry! <laughs> <sighs> Why didn't you pass the ball to me? Uh, have you decided who you're taking to the game yet? All right, I'll take you! Team, one nil. Ha! We'll see about that. Corinda, over here. Uh... To my Henry. No way. Kay, we're on the same side. Team. What are you doing? It was a bird, a, a big one. It did a wash name right in my eye. I can't see any bird. <laughs> bird? Why oh, didn't you try to save it? Uh, I don't know. Two-one to Margaret's team. One minute to go. Right. No more Mr Nice Guy. <laughs> uh, uh, what should I do? To me! To 